To get started, go to gemini.google.com. First thing you're going to do is click on the model drop down on the top left and change it to whatever pro model you see there. Then at the bottom of the screen, click deep research. Choosing deep research means Gemini will scour the web for everything relating to the topic you're asking about and then present you with a research report at the end of it. That research report could be turned into a bunch of different things like infographics, audio overviews, quizzes, and more. I'm going to show you all of that and we're going to use a few different examples. You can either skip along by clicking the chapters below or watch the whole thing for inspiration because there are going to be other tips suitable for everyone scattered throughout. But let's start with a student example then. I've got a prompt here which is basically saying, I'm studying the Roman Empire and I want to understand the timeline of Roman civilization and really get into the human stories. So once you've put your prompt in, we hit submit and the first thing Gemini is going to do is come up with a research plan. It will outline all of the steps it's going to take in its research process before giving you the report and that's your chance to make a change if you want to. So here's the plan for my Roman Empire study report. Let's have a look. It says establish a comprehensive timeline of Roman history. And at the end, the last step is always worth looking at. It says synthesize all the information into a narrative that connects these individual human stories to the major inflection points. This all sounds really good. So I'm not going to edit the plan this time. I'm just going to click start research. And you can see initially it shows its thinking as it's going as well. It's laying out the approach. It even is showing you some of the websites that it's going to look at in doing this research. Usually this takes 15 minutes. But by the power of YouTube, let's have a look at the result right now. Here's the completed research report. What we get is almost like a Google Doc on the right hand side of the screen. It has a title. I can scroll through. It is very detailed, as you might expect. It goes into each of the sections. It's broken down over time. We saw a table there as well. I'm going to scroll further down here, though, because I want to show you that at the end of this, you can see throughout that it cites the sources. So there are arrows next to some of the paragraphs here. And at the very bottom, Here's a list of all of the sources it used in the report. Imagine if you had gone and had to read all of these different sources, just how much time you're saving from doing this. And then it even looked at loads of other sources that aren't included in the final report, but that it considered when it was putting it all together. You can also go back and look at its thoughts to understand, okay, what steps did it take to get there? Now, here's the cool thing. At the very top of the screen here, I've got two options. I can export or create. If I click on export, I can either copy all of these contents to go and post it somewhere, or I can export it to a Google Doc. So if I just click export to Google Docs, that opens a new tab with a fresh document in with all of that text in it. Now, that is pretty good, but let's look at the create option here. And there's a few different options that we're going to explore through the other demos in this video. But for this one, I'm going to choose web page. When I do that, Gemini is going to take this research report and turn it into some kind of web page. So let's see what we get. A minute or so later, here's the complete page. It's given me a bit more information of what it's done on the left here. And over on the right, this is a preview of the web page. So we've got this clickable timeline here. It looks like this line is in the wrong place, so we can maybe ask Gemini to fix that. And when I click on each of these, you see it changes the part underneath it. Now, obviously, if you're a student studying, you're going to want to check back through all this information and make sure it's correct. But the amount of time that you're saving here and the ability to make something that looks genuinely really good is very cool. And if you do want to make those edits, that line, for example, needs fixing, I can just ask Gemini on the left hand side. The line on the timeline isn't aligned with the clickable circles. Please fix this. And there we go. Gemini fixed it for me. So now the line is all lined up. For our next example, I'm in a new chat here. I've made sure to click deep breathing research at the bottom again, and I've got my new prompt. This time, we're an entrepreneur looking to start a pet grooming business somewhere in the UK, but we're unsure whereabouts to make our first location. So we want Gemini to look across the whole market, understand how I might stand out as the business, and then give me a report based on that. So let's submit that and have a look at the research plan. Always look at the plan because you really want to make sure that it's not missed something or that it's taking some weird tangent that you don't want it to go on. So it says analyze the current state of the UK pet grooming market, including the overall size and value. Perfect. And then at the end, investigate effective marketing and customer acquisition strategies tailored for a new pet grooming businesses, including digital marketing and community engagement. That's something I wouldn't have even thought of 
but now it's included it, it's gonna be super helpful. Again, I don't feel like I have a need to edit the plan here, so I'm gonna start the research. Whilst Gemini is doing this research, you can go and do things in other windows. This will just carry on in the background. By the way, I have a free weekly newsletter where I send one quick actionable tip for using Google Workspace. You can click the link in the description to subscribe. Here's the complete report. I honestly think this is one of the best use cases for deep research, really thinking deeply about what could a USP be for a new business and whereabouts should it be as well. I always love that it does an overview like the market size and growth projections here you know the pet humanization phenomenon seems to be the thing and again it cites the sources as it goes as well now the thing is if you're a busy business owner already you might not like to sit and read this huge report so instead, I'm gonna click Create and then choose Audio Overview. And Audio Overview, you might have seen before in Notebook LM, there's a video about that in the description below, but it essentially is gonna create an AI podcast having a discussion about this research report. If you've never heard one before, here's what that sounds like. Today, we're uh, plunging into something quite fascinating, actually. Mm -hmm. The UK's pet grooming market. And it's not just ticking along, it's, well, it's- You get the idea, if you want to download it, you click on the three dots, choose download, and then you can put it on your phone, stick it in your car, or play it wherever you like, maybe while you're in the bath even. <laughs> For our next example, let's imagine we work in a tech company just as a program manager. And we've been tasked with doing some research for a potential new product that we want to launch that's gonna help small businesses streamline processes and save them time. What I really want to understand is what the market currently looks like and whether anyone is even out there asking for this kind of thing. So here's my prompt. Make sure deep research is selected at the bottom. Hit submit. Okay, here's the research plan. I'm not gonna edit this plan either. I'm gonna start research and then let's see what we get. Okay, here's the final report. It's a strategic market analysis for an AI powered SMB workflow automation platform. I didn't use those words, remember. It's come up with that itself based on all of the information that I've given it. Again though, this is great for me maybe as the program manager, but I might want to turn this into something more interesting for people to look at. So I'm gonna click create. And then this time I'm gonna choose infographic. Gemini will get to work now and create a really cool looking infographic and I can ask it to make changes if I want to. On the left hand side here, Gemini tells me the work that it's done and here is the infographic on the right hand side. It shows me the competition on this cool looking chart and then the evolution of the workflow with AI tools. And remember, I haven't even prompted it with any specifics so I could now go back to Gemini and make some changes if I wanted to but crucially, I could now share this with my team. So up on the top right here, I can click on share. If you were using a personal Google account, you would see an option here to be able to share a link to this infographic. On a Workspace account, you do still get the option to copy the contents. That will copy all of the HTML behind this. Then all you need to do is open like a blank text file. So on a Mac, I've opened a new document in the text edit app. The first thing to do is go to format at the top of the screen and choose make plain text. Now in here, I'm gonna paste that HTML that Gemini wrote for me and then go to file, down to save, and then type infographic.html. Really important that you type .html, hit save, click use HTML, and that's saved that file. So now if I open that HTML file, here's what it looks like in the browser. So I could literally just attach that to an email and send it around to my colleagues. The final example is gonna be most useful on a personal basis. I'm asking Gemini for help to find the best holiday destination. We're imagining we're a family of four, two adults, two kids. I'm sharing a little bit of information about the kinds of things I'd like and my budget as well. And when we submit this, Gemini will put together a plan just like before, but this is a great way to outsource all of the time and effort it might normally take you to figure out where to go on holiday. Here's the research plan for this one. Present a comparison of two or three of the most suitable holiday options. Now, I actually want more than two or three options. So I'm gonna click edit plan this time. And when I do that, it gives me a response with all of that plan broken down. And all I need to do is type with the change that I want. I'm gonna put, please provide at least five options uh, at the end based on your research. Hit enter to submit it. And now Gemini will show me the adjusted research plan. So let's click on more and scroll down and check and it says synthesize all research to present a comparison of at least five of the most suitable holiday destinations. Perfect. So I click start research and off it goes. Here's the final output then for my holiday research. It says the 2026 family holiday blueprint balancing thrills and tranquility for the modern family. It sounds very fancy, doesn't it? What I'm most interested in though is that bit at the bottom here. I want to see where it thinks that I should go. So here's the finalists. But I want my family to choose based on all this information rather than me just make the decision. So here's where it gets fun. This time I'm gonna click create and then choose quiz. And Gemini will take all of the information from this deep research report and turn it into a quiz. So here's the quiz it's created, but the thing is, this isn't really what I wanted. By default, it's gonna create a quiz 
which quizzes you on the contents of that deep research report. That's really good for learning, but not for this example. So instead, what I'm gonna do is click on the Canvas button at the bottom here and write a prompt that says, turn the research into a quiz that my family can take, which will ultimately lead to deciding one of the final holiday options based on their answers to the questions. Let's submit that and see what we get. Here we go then, let's have a look. Let's start the quiz. It's gonna ask me these different questions so people can choose, okay, mostly relaxing, choose a few of the different answers like this. And at the end, we get one of the options from the research report with a bit of a explainer why that would be the best choice. I think deep research can be really helpful in a ton of different scenarios. I'd love to hear what you might use it for in the comments below. And if this video was helpful, don't forget to give it a like. You might also find this other video helpful as well.